It was such a beautiful day today that after I finished feeding the chickens, I decided to jump in the car and head to the coast. So I'm here in Belfast, Maine at Young's Lobster Pound and the fish are just coming in. So I'm hoping to pick up some lobsters that we can have for dinner tonight and also get some oysters because they're my husband's favorite. Hey darling, let me help you across there. Thank you. I think one of the best things about living in Maine is all the seafood and especially lobster and I always love coming to Belfast. It's such a cute little town and of course to Young's Lobster Pound. So how long have you been here? How long has it been in your family? Uh, we be in business 92 years I do believe this year. My grandfather started it. Um, I'm the third generation. I get a fourth generation wants to take over when I, they boot me out of here. So uh, <laughs> I learned in the fishing business uh, either Work, working with my grandfather, gill netting and persaining, lobster bait, stuff like that. And then worked on my boat and my father's boat when I was so high, filling wow. bait bags on there. Did all that and then I got my own boat and started out with one trap with a skiff and then it was 10 traps and an outboard motor and fished all right up through till when I got out of high school. And uh, the fishing was not as great. So I was working for my father when I wasn't uh, fishing so I turned everything over and got rid of the boat and stuff and went work full time for him. I learned all that business trait all the way up through and uh, didn't have to go to college for any of it so uh, I got all the, we call it the school of hard knocks That's here, right. learned all the way up through. So <laughs> We have our clam harvesters come in every day so we do steamed clams. Uh, the last few years the oysters in the state of Maine have taken off and uh, we do oysters on the half shell, do crab meat rolls, we pick our own crab meat, fresh fish like uh, haddock dinners, or we have swordfish, halibut. Uh, all Anything that you can pull out of the water basically. <laughs> and I love you have all that outdoor dining so people can just sit and enjoy the sun and the breeze but the view and it's just such a nice 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 environment. Let's go inside and see how this whole thing works. Yeah we'll show you how we do it and take you around. Sounds good. We have them all different sizes. Okay. You see the frost line on this tank? Uh-huh. I have cooling systems out outside that turn my water down to 35 degrees. They like it cold. But it's really cold, so. So what do we got in here? So these here are a pound and quarters in here. Okay. And then these are a pound and a half in here. Yep, that's about the size I like. I'll do a pound and a quarter, pound and a half. The crabs. This is called the Picato crab. Okay, I've heard of those. And these are called the rock crab. They and you don't you don't band them. You just nope. be careful. Nope. So these ones here are quite a lot of meat. It takes about six of these to make a pound of crab meat. Okay. It takes like a dozen, fifteen of those to make a pound of crab meat. Throw the females back. Okay. And just keep the males. Right here is our selling tank, so we have all different sizes in here, so the customer can come in and pick out whatever they want. But there is a variety. These are hard shell here and have some soft shells over here that just have molted this shell. There's one there, it's kind of almost blue. That's kind of, pretty. Kind of pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. It's, it's like porcelain almost, or like yeah. glazed stoneware. Yeah, let's like say we have, a, we get about 10 blue ones a year and maybe six calico ones. Uh, we get a white one once in a while. Why do they have the claws? Is that for protection? Yes, they use the claws for protection, yes. And they also use these to catch their food or whatnot. This one here is a crusher claw, and the teeth on it are made to crush a shell. Okay. On this one here, it's a real fine claw, and we call it a terror claw or a ripper claw. So that okay. one there will rip fish apart, and the teeth are right there. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Those almost look like human teeth. Yeah, like big you, molars. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We get our soft shells like these are just starting to come out now. The soft shell is very slippery on the outside. And the hard shell has got a little more of a gritty texture to it where it's a little more porous. Where mm -hmm. a little whopper, that's good oh. to be a dinner right there. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> that wouldn't even fit in our pot. 